Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw a character from Frozen 2. Which one are we gonna draw? Bruni. Bruni, yeah. He, what is he? He's a salamander. A salamander, yeah. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're gonna use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in your classroom. What else do they need? Paper. Yeah. And something to color with. Something to color with. All right, let's start. Let's first draw Bruni's eyes. We're gonna draw two circles. I'm gonna try to draw them a little more to the right so that we have room for his body and tail over here on the left. So I'm gonna draw one circle about this big and another circle, same size for the right eye. Yeah, now inside of the circle, we could draw another circle. This is for his pupil. We'll draw another circle over here too inside. I'm drawing it kind of big so that it's close to the edge. There you go. Yeah, now let's color in that center circle. Anytime we fast forward the video, what can our art friends do at home? Pause it. Yeah, if you need extra time. All right, let's keep going. We're going to draw another circle around each of these eyes. So this is the pupil and the iris. So we're going to draw another white circle around his eyes. I and I'm gonna draw another one over here too. He's gonna have really big eyes, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we could draw his little nose. We're gonna draw two little dots in between his eyes. Next, let's draw his mouth. We're gonna start over here on his cheek, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes under and right under his nose. We're gonna go up a little bit and then come back down and then back up on the other side. Yeah, there you go. We could also give them little cheeks if we want to, little cheek lines. Next, we're gonna draw his eyebrows. Well, he doesn't really have eyebrows, but we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw a curve that goes up and over his eye. Then we're gonna come down further, right next to his cheek, and then stop, or next to his, his mouth for his cheek. And that's okay, yeah, you can bend out like that, that's perfect. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna go up and over the eye, and then we're gonna come back down really close to the cheek. Yeah. Now in between his eyes, let's draw another curve to connect his two eyebrows together. Oh, he's looking really cool. I like him. Yeah. Then we can draw his neck or the, and the bottom of his head. So we're gonna draw a curve that comes down underneath his mouth, and then we're gonna start curving the other way. Kinda looks like an S curve. So curve under his mouth and then back down for his neck. And then over here on this side, we're gonna draw a curve that comes underneath his mouth and then we're gonna stop. Now let's draw the front of his neck. We're gonna draw another curve that comes down like this and then gets really close to touching uh, the left side of his neck. Yeah, leave a little space. And then we're gonna draw his first leg. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down. Then we're gonna draw another curve over here that's a little bit bigger and longer. So leave a little space and then, perfect. Then let's draw his thumb. We'll draw a sideways U on the right side. Then we're gonna draw three more U's. We're gonna draw a big one, a small one, and then maybe even a little smaller one over here to connect to the other line. Yeah, you did it. Then we'll come back over to his neck and we're gonna connect his neck into his arm. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna imagine his neck turning into his belly. It's gonna go behind his arm and then come back here a little further. Next, let's draw his back leg. We're gonna repeat all of those same steps. So we'll draw a little curve for the front of his leg. Then we'll draw a big curve for the back of his leg. Then we're gonna draw that little thumb first. So we'll draw a sideways U shape. Then we'll draw a U pointing down. And then a smaller U and then an even smaller U to connect to the back of his leg. <laughs> now let's draw his tail. We're gonna imagine his belly line going behind his leg, 
and coming out over here and we're going to get really close to the edge of our paper since we're drying them so big. <laughs> then let's come back up here and we're going to draw his neck, the rest of his neck. We're going to draw a little curve that comes down right underneath his eye. Then we're going to draw his body, draw a little curve coming close to his tail. And then we're going to finish by connecting to the end of his tail. What's he missing? His other legs. Yeah, he only has two. He, he has four, right? Four legs. Four legs. Let's draw a short line right here coming out of his neck. And then we'll draw a longer, bigger line over here. And see this space kind of matches the space in between these two lines. Then we can draw his thumb first. So we'll draw a little U shape, sideways U. And then let's draw another U over here. And on this side, let's just add one more finger because maybe the other one is behind his hand. You can't see it. Oh, I you actually have, have yeah, you have more space, so you could add two more U shapes. That's okay that our two drawings look a little different, right? Yes. They both are looking awesome. Yes. And it's okay if their drawings look different too, because the most important thing is to have fun. Have fun and to practice. Practice. Yeah, we have one more leg to draw. Should we do that next? Yes. Okay. We'll first draw a short line, a really short line, because this leg is behind his body. All right. And then the next thing we're going to draw is the thumb shape that we did over here. So we're going to repeat the same steps that we did for this this arm and hand. And then we can draw another U shape. And then let's draw another U shape if you can fit it in there. We have one last thing to draw and that is the design on his back. We're going to draw a little diamond shape. We're going to draw a line down from his neck. So we'll start there. And then we're going to draw a line that comes up and connects to his back. Then let's draw two smaller V's or diamond shapes down here on his tail. I'm going to draw another one right behind that one. Now we're almost done. Let's connect his neck line to his arm. And then let's imagine that line going behind his front leg and we'll connect also back here to his back leg. So this is his little belly. So the front of his body is a light blue and then his body is a darker blue. And then right here, let's imagine that line going behind his leg and coming out and connecting to the back of his tail. All right, Mrs. Hubs, we did it. We finished drawing Bruni. Yay. Your drawing looks perfect. Ex <laughs> Except we still need to do one more thing. What is it? Color. Yeah, we need to color our drawings. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Mrs. Hobbs, give me five. You did such a great job on coloring Bernie. Thank you. Did you have fun? I did. I love how he turned out. I also added a little extra details like highlights and a shadow, but you can leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. Now what do we use to color Bruni? Markers. Yeah, we use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home or in your classroom. We hope you had fun drawing Bruni with us. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. Remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. I hope they do. And I hope you add more things to your drawing like a background. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.